All right. Yeah. We are currently fighting a little war over here. And we have split our armies to make sure that they're not all starving to death. So let's continue a little bit on this uh, warpath. Why are these guys still starving? What's going on here? You shouldn't be. Okay, you're no longer starving. You're now getting stuff. Good. So they're trying to see just a little bit. Shall we go on a hunt? Yes, we have a little bit of stress. Might as well go on a hunt. Um, he will no longer be a hostage. Yeah, go. I don't care. Goodbye. It's a dangerous road, though. No, I don't think I will walk through a war to go to a hunt. Thank you. Okay, so these guys are dying. They need re replenishment quick. So we'll get this army to replace them. Where is my siege army, anyway? Was this one of those wars I got split up in? No. Where are my siege weapons? Huh? Oh, right, they got destroyed. Oh, right, I made a mistake and they got destroyed. That's what happened. Right, let's raise us some. Now that there are some back. I'll just switch these two armies out. So we don't lose the progress. And this army here, which will have some... Or which should get our... 13 existing... Oh god, this will take forever to assemble. Why? Five months left. Let's see. Uh, let's sway him for what? For his forgiving nature? Sure. Why would the Pope take it as an insult to be called forgiving? I can believe this one army singularly standing there and attack them. Because they're getting a little bit too frisky on that siege, I think. And we should be fine with this army to take them on. Yeah, that's a good commander. That should be a definitive win. And they do run away in anticipation of their loss. Maybe we can catch them, though it's across a river, so it's not ideal to catch them like this. Yeah, there's our catapults. Hostile, hostile, hostile. Doesn't matter much. Okay, so we beat them once more. We'll bring our troops down here. Where we will fight a bit of a hostile army, but I don't mind that much. And these guys might not even get ready. <laughs> to gather. Before that siege down there is done. Okay, why do we have so, so many notices? Because it always thinks we haven't read any of these after loading the game up. Let's see. Nope. This person here will be ransomed for sure. They are useless. We can transfer a vassal. I think we shall. Though this guy is a good commander of ours, so we're not going to do that yet. Eventually we might. I think we can stand these down. But... Since there's hostile armies near, it's going to take forever for them to go there. Or go away. Come back. Go back. Whatever.
Nine months. No, that's too long. <laughs> it's far too long. Oh, but there's a job for them. That's nice. We expose someone's lover's secret. Don't care about it at all. Let people love who they love. There it is. I don't want hostages with him. Okay. And of course we can't immediately stand on our armies because we're still at war. But we have to because we can literally not afford to have them up much longer. So who are we at war with right now? Who are we helping? What's going on? What is this war? And do we go and help in any way, shape or form? It's the Byzantines fighting over there. I mean, we could send what we have right here. Let's... I don't know, it might be very expensive to do this. Is there anything good to loot here? 35 gold, yeah. Okay, might be very expensive and not a great idea to do this, but we'll try. We'll send a little bit. We'll show up at the 11th hour and not turn the tide at all. How is the kingdom of Hyastan so strong, though? Allies? Not really. They're just that strong. That's crazy. Okay, there's some more Byzantine army. Okay, our West Frankian alliance is down. Uh, it's not ideal. It's also not super terrible. Okay, money-wise, we are going down the drain now. But luckily, the Pope is there to come in with a clutch save us from ruin <laughs> while we go defend Christianity. Eventually. It's someday. Our ships are on the way. I promise. Oh god, they are slow as all hell. I mean... Alright, we never arrived there. We will not ever arrive. Hey, Popcorn. Welcome. How are you doing? Oh, I have to move the chat back. I just realized. I moved the chat earlier. I'll move it, like, here. Like, there is fine. faction was created against us. Okay, cool. What this time? You. Who are you? How dare you? Give me a hostage. Oh, I could give him a, hos uh, a hostage. Great. What's your problem? Disapproves of asking head of faith for gold. I don't care, my lad. I don't care. How are things, Popcorn? Having a good day so far? First we're PT for you today. What's what's PT? Uh, 
Um, our lover. The world will know of my child. Nah, we will be careful. For sure. Whatever could go wrong, trying to hide something like this. <laughs> our kinsman. Sure, I'll take money for a child. Things you can only say in Crusader Kings. Definitely. Come on on. Join the Empire. Stay through? Ah, yeah, okay, sorry. How was that? Did that go well? Okay, can I now... Which one was it? Did I not just acquire this guy? Did your father just die? Did this dude just die? God damn it. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. That's the name. <laughs> Somewhere here? Okay, so I, I came to take this specific county. Because I wanted to push his father's claim. For the entire kingdom. But of course, it was an unpressed claim. So this boy only has a claim on the duchy. Which, for some reason, I cannot press either. Only the two counties. Which don't even show up. It's this one and this one. Does the duchy not exist? No, it exists, alright. You focus on building up buildings, securing alliances and building money. Nice. That's how you do it. That's how you prevent situations like the one I'm in. Where I overextended so much... <laughs> that I literally... Cannot do anything anymore. Without bumping into walls everywhere. So we'll upgrade this a little bit more. Because... Uh, station men and arms go up. And also holding taxes. Uh, go up on this one. Which is our highest income holding. With 3.8 gold. And we would get 4% more. So... Definitely worth it. Upgrading the blacksmith. Pushing us back into a position where we can't wage war. Because 300 gold is not enough for a war for a country and power of our size. It's just, it isn't. It really just isn't. I'm not going to be too long today, I don't think. But we'll see. Had a really long work day today. So I'm a little bit knackered, I must say. Converted from Pesheng to Russo Slovian. Good good choice there. Oh Bavaria is eating away at stuff here as well. What have you been eating, Bavaria? And what of it is mine? Oh, we could just go for the Duchy of Bavaria here. Just fully push in there. Uh, let's see what else we have around here. Our counselor died. Poor blood. So he is only 16, but he's a strong vassal, and having strong vassals on the on the council is now good for us. Because of our focus here. Where we get uh monthly prestige plus 5% per powerful vassal on the council. 
Uh, so we'll take someone who is slightly, slightly less capable, but boosts our prestige income heavily. I mean, plus 15 per month, that's, that's silly. That is silly amounts of prestige we're getting here. Uh, we might put him to shorten truces, but it doesn't really matter because my grand goal for this thing didn't work out, sadly. So let's see if we can't get any Claremont somewhere. What's considered a keep building? Prevented from building a certain thing until I get one. Well, um, in your... I assume it's a tower or fort building. You're prevented from building a certain thing until you get one. What certain thing are you prevented from getting? Like, what, what's the exact tooltip say? Because I have an idea what you mean, but there are several layers here. And I might be thinking of the wrong thing. Why can't I press your claim? Because you, I would be pressing against a dude. And that doesn't work. And you're not coming because you are his liege anyway. You're trying to upgrade the hound pen. Can you, um, can you write down the, the exact wording of the tooltip? I don't even know what a hound pen is. <laughs> like what type of building, where would I find that? Or if I even can get that. I keep building or it's upgrades. That's interesting, that's interesting wording. I actually don't know what that means. I mean, Hillfort has a little keep icon, but I don't think the icon actually means anything. Um, these don't have that. It's for hunting grounds. Do I have hunting grounds somewhere? I don't think I do. Do I have hunting grounds here? I have Hunter's Lodge. I don't think that's the same thing, is it? Hound pens. So, and this one here is blocked for you, yeah? Then let's just try and compare what's different. So, Hound pens is the next one here. So, I could build this. And all I have is crop fields. And a mot. So that's that's literally everything. Do you have maybe a city or something that you're trying to upgrade there? I don't know. I don't see why it shouldn't work. And I mean, this is the most basic feudal setup you can get, and I can definitely upgrade to horn pens. I mean, here it says for hunting reserves, Ranger's hut must be obstructed, constructed first. Gamay has a fortress building or its upgrades. I mean, fortress building is um, this. 
the last update of upgrade of this. That's a fortress. So I would say you have to have at least a castle. And then you can build this, but can you build a hunter's lodge where you don't have that? Let's see if we can find something here. Okay, now that's a castle. Is there a city somewhere that doesn't have this yet? No idea. Pope Urbanus is not swayed. Ah, well. What does he know? Can ransom Duke Oleg. Nope. To the dungeon he goes. Alright. Don't know why you could have built something without a castle, really. Like, I have to build a holding first. So maybe, maybe, maybe you have a tribal holding. Or a clan holding or something. Then you can probably build a hunter's lodge. Or possibly. And that might be the blocking issue then. So check what your main holding in that in that county is. And we go Clément hunting now. So we look for dukes. If I can't take the whole kingdom, I'll take the dukedoms. I'll get this back eventually, trust me. Doesn't want to come to court. Uh, minus 15 is strong. He already has a very high uh, opinion of us. So there's very little we can do to get him to court. Let's see. Dignitas. Diplomacy per level of fame plus one. Okay, check this. We have 16 right now. This should go up to like 19 maybe. 20. <laughs> nice. He would be ideal. I mean, okay. All right. Should. All right. Okay. I mean, he's wandering, so we can't really scheme against him or anything. Sending him a gift is not going to help. Which is very annoying, because opinion doesn't directly translate to his willingness. Like if you look at that, his opinion of us is plus 25, which is a lie. It's 72. It's just the max impact is 25. So even if we gave him a gift, this would not change anything. I don't like that bit. This is a very confusing in, uh, interface, but that's how it works. And I wish it wasn't. <laughs> it wouldn't be working like that. But that's how it is. So. I will not send him a gift. Bringing in women doesn't help. Sadly. Okay. So not that duchy then. These are all mine. Okay. Here's a lot of pressed claims. But again. No one will come to court. It's silly, I have such a nice court. Okay, you can have that dude back. Yes, welcome to the royal court. Thank you for paying us a visit. And... 85 gold. Yeah, fine, you can have him back for that. Doesn't help me anyway to have him. Why can't I go for all these? This is... Huh. Okay, now we can go on a hunt. There's no war going on. Don't even need anyone to travel with us. It's just gonna be fine. Let's see.
Why do I keep looking at the accolades? Did they just upset me? <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's appoint Milan. Yeah, there is no worthy successor. Oh, good God. Oh, no, no worthy successor either. I don't care about these anymore. It's just such a hassle. This is the worst interface. A level one castle isn't considered a keep building. Well, riddle me this then, because I, I don't know. Look at this. This is a level one castle. It's the basic castle. And I am allowed to upgrade this to hound pens. So unless this is not a feudal castle, but rather a, 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 a tribal hold or something, I don't think that's it. Because this is literally just a level 1 castle. It's not a keep. It's just a mod. Which, by the way, is nicely historically accurately displayed here. I like that. Let's go hunt a bit. Ah, you're upgrading from a hound pen. All right. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yep. There we go. There it says keep. And if we look at this, it says keep right here. So... Riddle solved. Well done. Well done, you. Nice. That is very good. Our hunter experience increased a little bit. What's the goal for my empire right now, you ask? Uh, try and regain the bits that broke away in the very long rebellions that uh, happened after succession. Like, we have grown since as well, but, um, yeah, all of Galicia, Volonia has broken away. And Great Moravia, which has been being eaten by uh, Galicia, Volonia and Bavaria. So, they are not long for the world anymore, but I can only get them county by county, basically. Like, I have very... There are no big duchy claims to press, nothing like it. Uh, my own de jour claims, I can only go one by one, which I think is completely crazy. Though I have a feeling there is a perk, there's a lifestyle perk somewhere where you can do that. Uh, like Ducal Conquest, this might be it, honestly. But I'm not quite sure. Allows the seizure of counties required to create an uncreated title of duchy rank. So that's not really it. Um, forced vassalage. I mean, this would this would work as well, you know. Uh, so we could force them back into vassalage. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. Uh, re recreate. The Empire of Carpathia as it was. And in the meantime, just kind of pick up smaller pieces as we can. As we go. Like this thing here would be ours. But every war is, is expensive for us these days. So let's try this with low cost. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, let's let's try this. So we'll get only our men at arms and the local army, which together should be around four thousand troops against his three-ish thou thousand. So if we have a solid enough commander, which I believe we have right now, 
Like, this guy's pretty good. We should be able to face this army there. But for now, we're gonna go and get to where we need to be anyway, first. And we're not bleeding everything. We're still bleeding money, mind, but... It is... Acceptable. <laughs> Let's see, our player, heir, and son. No, he will not be gluttonous. He will also not be impatient. Well, he might be impatient because shy is horrible for him. Monthly prestige gain plus 20%. That's completely <laughs> silly. Learning minus 2. Hossa scheme power plus 15%. Oh, God. All of these are horrible options. Let's go with shy. That's the least horrible option of them all. Okay, let's see if we... Yeah, we would win. Because we are defending here. So it would be entirely in our favor. Defending in Tiger. Defensive building. Better army commander. More commander traits. More soldiers. Higher quality. More men at arms. So unless he gets away, which he he's not gonna. That's an easy battle for us to win. Yeah, good stuff. Without bleeding money. Can you imagine? That is... That is something special. I mean, without bleeding money where I know I'm going to be bankrupt in two days. We can ma ransom the mayor. Mayor the ransom. Let's ransom the mayor. Did we actually kill the army? Oh god, I think we did. Yep. That was a crushing defeat. We killed them in the very first phase of the battle, so they are done. Immediately, completely destroyed. And we lost a whole 107 men. <sighs> it's, it's crazy. If it's imbalanced, it's imbalanced. Certain places, it just it gets completely out of hand. Really. Gave us 50% war score because we immediately in one battle just completely, utterly obliterated everything he had. Our counselor died. Our steward. Right. Okay, so we have this strong vassal who wants this, but... Good god, he's horrible. I mean, he's just at the cutoff of being okay. Uh, so that's not gonna work. Maybe let's go with King George of Wallachia. Just so he doesn't join any factions. Though he, he likes us well enough without it anyway. But I think we can live with a little less merit. Then again, this guy here. Hmm. If we go for merit, then we go for merit. I think we'll put him back to uh, development in Kursk, Krakow. We stopped that because we were so deep in debt. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, we can decrease the bleeding even further if we set our marshal to actually organize the army. And we should unpause, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. And we can put in a siege leader, uh, which we do have, I think. Yep, there he is, to speed this up even more. Especially since there's no army left to oppose us, why not do that, you know? There's really no reason not to do that. Our culture has discovered manorialism, that is good. I don't quite remember for what I wanted it, but... Ah, because now we can upgrade all these. That was what we needed it for. So we can get a... Our son. Alright, very good. May he grow strong and wise. 
So we could upgrade this to get another 0 0.5 of income per month. But it takes us back quite a bit. I don't think I want to go this deep into our uh, war buffer. They have raised another army and are coming to attack us, which I appreciate. We seized a bastard. Bastard. Okay. Feather after the siege of Polotsk. Let's switch in our good boy again. Our really good boy. Like this guy. And march on their capital. Because for some reason, that wasn't enough to win. Not quite sure why. What can we sponsor? What inspiration? A book? No. But that reminds me. We do have the commission epic. I think we can afford this. Let's start composing an epic. Let's... I will gather some of my best scribes. Surely any... <laughs> Uh, low chance, unpredictable chance, high chance. Uh, did I not just pay 200 gold? If I click this, do I get my 200 gold back? Did I just pay 200 gold for nothing? Okay, now we go with this one. Darn these hidden costs and fees. It was always an issue, even in medieval times. Uh, I don't want prestige. It's a family history, so be generous. Yes, we want renown. That's what we want. So we can get more renown traits. Let's bring our troops north. And put in another siege lad, I would say. Let's see. He was pretty lowly, wasn't he? Someone real down on the rank. Did we lose him? Is he, is he gone? Uh, the blood of that snake is flowing in my veins. What? Your great-great-grandfather was a fascinating and resourceful figure. If we let it be known that you are even half as underhanded as he, people would think twice before acting against you. Um, or claim he was honorable and upstanding. We will receive a family epic artifact which improves hostile scheme resistance. I mean, sure, why not? Hostile scheme resistance sounds good. But I have lost my siege, man. Oh no, there he is. He's just not as bad as I had him. I, I remembered him. Uh, yes, come to court. Pay your homage to me. Good boy, good man. Let's become august. Before we go into something over here. But diplomat is definitely the next tree we go into. To help regrow the empire. I mean, our kids are our kids. They are what they are. There's really not much we can do anymore. They turn out well or they don't. <laughs> Let's see. It seems that the county of Spooks was never intended to be permanently in the hands of the House of Veli. I could make a reasonable claim against him. It's rightfully mine. I will make it mine. Get an unpressed claim against it. Where is that? The Duchy of Pomeralia. That's up there somewhere. Now we can let this pass. I don't. I don't want that. Thanks. How is their East Francia here? <laughs> Inheritance is wild. And we can ask the Pope for money again, which we will absolutely do. 
And we're not gonna finish our war just now because we're currently in a siege that we're definitely gonna win. So we can get a little bit of money and potential vassal, uh, hostages and stuff. So I'm almost relieved when you find it's all nonsense, but this part with the dragon has given me some ideas. Which improves combat advantage. Yeah, where, whenever inspiration can be found, we should use it. Absolutely. So he's sending his army. I mean, he could surrender at any time. Then the war is done as well. But if he doesn't, we'll just keep pushing a little bit. Don't think he will win back his siege in 40 days. Very good, we get the Smolniki Romance. Prestige, Defender Advantage and Hostile Scheme Resistance. That's pretty good and the quality is also great. So, not bad, not bad. This might be the greatest poem ever written. Well done you. Well done you. And good for us. Alright, let's enforce our demands now. Disband our troops. We have regained this county. Or rather, no, we, we gained it. I don't think we regained it. I don't think we ever had it to begin with. This still makes me sad to look at, yet I keep coming back for more pain and emotional turmoil. <laughs> That's just how it is. Uh, let's see. Let's go somewhere here. In that direction. Uh, the Grand Principality of Sharnikov. Which is where? Why is this not being highlighted for me? It's this. But are we only going for the title? Gets county of this and this and this and that. So these two he should get for that. So we fight them over that, and they're currently not really strong. Uh, we could get this, push it for our boy. And I think we should. I think we should. Just grow a little bit more again. 600 prestige, but it's fine, because look at our income. Excuse me? Crazy. So... Where are our flags? Take our purple royal flag. Plonk it down. Okay, there's a river I didn't consider. <laughs> I think we'll go for Ruthenia first. Oh no, we go for this first. That's his capital too. So we'll raise here. Which is hopefully not a problem. Uh, you can stay. You don't have to go. Let's marry you to one of my knights, maybe. Where are my knights? Why is there so many people? I just want to marry you to a courtier of mine. Let's see. Uh... Can't I go for my own court anymore? Hmm. Okay, fine. You just stay around then. Enjoy. Have a drink. And why am I raising all my troops? Am I completely crazy? Okay, we'll stop raising these and these. And these. And pull these here. And we'll stop raising these as well. And then we go here and we say men at arms. And everyone else just goes there. I don't want to be poor in this war. I 
I should probably equip this uh, new artifact of ours. So first we go destroy them, and afterward, uh, holding shift click, shift and right click, we turn back and siege the thing. So for now, this guy can lead, so fine. Let's check our artifacts here. And we'll kick out... What do we kick out? I think we can kick this one out. It's it's gonna die anyway soon. And I have no interest in repairing it. So... Uh, where is it? Is that a court artifact? Oh, I think it's a court artifact. Oh no. Um. So it's one of these books now. Piety, piety, prestige. Marshall, that's big. So I think we'll we'll switch this one out. It's not super ideal, but... Well, what can you do if you have cool stuff everywhere? Let's see. Culture comes from everywhere. We are not gonna interfere with your medieval porn magazines. That's fine. We like a, a grand court, so... Oh, very good. I like that. That looks good. Which of my vassals is attacking this fool? You're defending against King Predslav the Gracious of Lithuania. Okay, he's just coming for this one thing. But he's winning. So, there's that. <laughs> At least we have that. Let's hold some court. Uh, what's this? Wise and pious men have been collecting and preserving the traditional knowledge of Russian culture for centuries. As a sign of our goodwill, I offer you the precious anthology of Russian texts translated into your own language. Please stay and teach me more. Bilingual readings. Diplomacy and learning plus one. Not bad. Everyone will have a little bit more opinion of us. I graciously accept. Nah. Please stay and teach me more. And O oh, munificent Emperor I've traveled what do you want? The throne of Obran Osh Where's that? Obran Osh that is a little way away from us at the moment. I must say. I mean, we could, but that is a way, a way, a way, away from us. Uh, all right. It's a beautiful day for war. She joins our court. We go to war. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? What do you want? It pains me. I'll not forget your generosity in the time of need. What do you want? Extra expenses. No. I mean, nice try, but have you not learned anything being my vassal? I am bad with money. And I'm definitely not give you, gonna give you any of it. Of the thing I'm bad with. What a silly idea. From a silly man. So we just entered a second war, but... Unless they come to us, it's not gonna matter. For the moment. Oh, our daughter is an adequate bargainer. That's not how I taught you, but fine. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, we need some new alliances. The Kingdom of Finland. How strong are you? Strong enough. 
Uh, let's let's marry you to a king here. I think that's just right for my for my beautiful little daughter. Ah, perfect. So we'll just enforce this immediately. So that's two more counties in our lands, and now we can go there through this place basically let's quickly check how many troops they actually have so i don't run into disaster now we should be fine well should we i think we'll add some more local men so we'll wait here resupply we have a big supply limit because uh, of our commander i'm assuming anyway though he doesn't have the supply thing so now we can add some more soldiers to this. And I feel a little bit safer like this. So you're wrathful right now. This doesn't help us. I'm trying to turn you into a learned man. What is up with you? Uh, I think forgiving. Forgiving has always run in the family. Definitely not fickle. Well, he could be fickle too. Hostile scheme resistance plus 20%. Plus 2 diplomacy plus 1 learning. No, 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 no. He gonna, he gonna be forgiving. Lots of our people have been forgiving. And so shall you now. You're being beaten by one of my vassals. How do you how do you even think you will be able to resist to me when I decide to come for you eventually <laughs> at some point in the future? <laughs> when I feel nice and well and ready. Uh, get your things and go home, yeah. Bye. I've gained a loyal hostage hook on him. County on Mark, Mark, Marburg. It's nice, Marburg is really nice, but we don't need that. Not at all. Look at all these rivers back here. Dangerous place to fight. We are overwhelmed by stress. Oh no. We will resist our impulses and we'll go ahead and... Whoops. Press the wrong button. We'll go and seclude ourselves. Goodbye. Let's rest up a little bit. And... We can ransom this guy. Sure. He's not part of our current war. And 100 gold is 100 gold. We'll take that. Absolutely will. We'll take that. Let's switch out our commander. I mean, this guy would be really good, but I have a feeling he is expensive. Yeah. Too expensive for my blood. So we'll put this guy in and keep an eye on our army so we don't get surprised. So this guy is just the ally of the guy we're attacking. I'm afraid that they came from somewhere already. I just never noticed, you know. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely possible. But um, I just don't have the best track record with him. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> He's not soon inclined to be swayed by me particularly. Uh, let's check it out for a second. I'll switch back a better leader. So we don't get any problems. Uh, let's check the Pope. Why is he not willing to be swayed? Why is this 20%? So, first of all, we already swayed him before. Um, he is in a foreign realm and he is the head of fate. So, it is 
difficult, but not impossible. As you can see, we already swayed him once. So that immediately reduces his chance of being swayed again. Speaking of which, we might go uh, turn some witches instead. Not that it really helps anything, but... Uh, is our boy old enough to be induced into into witch witchery yet? N no, I don't think he is. What do you know of life? Nothing. Why do you not want to be a witch? Does that answer your question? Sure hope it does. Okay, now we have found the enemy army. And they are rightfully fleeing. Trying to find a better, more favorable position for themselves. In this case, I'm not going to switch around. I'm very good. I'm glad it answered your question. In this case, I'm not going to switch out the leader. Because four months isn't too long. And I'd rather avoid the embarrassment of being beaten into a pulp by them because I put a worse commander just to speed up the the little bit of, um, you know, the little bit of speed. Yeah, we'll break this betrothal. It was made for an alliance... What's going on here? Nikea. Did the Byzantines fall apart? No. What the heck is the despotate of Nikea? Huh? <laughs> what? Are you in a civil war? What? Okay. Who the heck are you? Ah, you're just a king. Okay, he's a he's a king within the empire. All right, that got me really confused for a moment. I think she is fit for an emperor. Do we still have the Byzantine connection going? No, we do not. So doing this will help. But then again, they switch over so often. It's kind of silly. Might as well go for the king inside the Byzantine Empire. But we'll do that. One is married to a king. One is married to the emperor of the Byzantine Empire. I think it's only fitting. All right. So, this is the main holding then. This wasn't it anyway. Took some prisoners in the siege. And now we go fight them again. It is winter though. Do we have a winter soldier? No. But we're still heavily winning. Despite them having the advantage. Let's see. Pull yourself together, Ursula. Please, put on some clothes. Thank you. Alright. That was that. I'm not going to push it any further than we need to. Alright, so... We are suddenly at war with these guys. Because they started a war for this. Just as we want it. I'm sorry, boys. You have to go fight these fools over there for a second. You can then return. Oh, we just came in when he raised more troops. What the heck was that? What was that? Just sprung like 3,000 more troops in there. Okay, I'm a little bit worried now. Not because he suddenly had way more troops, but because we are very low on supplies. And we would technically have to go back. 
to resupply. So since he's going away from us right now, I will indeed put in the Siege Master. Uh, just so we speed this up and have a chance of resupplying our troops. Alright, we are august and now we can go for Thoughtful and then we can go through these here. Especially forced vassalage is what we want next. So we can reclaim our territories. Uh, Generous Leash? No. I have more important men to impress. Absolutely. Ah, we can vassalize another count. And so we shall. Slowly, ever slowly growing. Who can be ransomed? Anything good? I mean, 25. It's fair enough. And then we'll just take a few tenors as well. I mean, it's something. It's free money. I don't want to be rivals with him. Let's write to him and hope we don't become rivals. Nope. <laughs> Didn't work. We are rivals now. Ah... Uh -huh. Unlucky. Okay, let's go south after this. Ah, uh, we might not be able to catch them there. Okay, shall he be content? Yeah, content is fine. Okay, we're not reaching them in time, but we can try and retake this and we can of course go ahead and go for a white piece let's see what do we get yes let's stop being rivals i like that that's 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 an immediate success in my eyes okay he would pay us money and we are very greedy <laughs> um they would get a lot of stress. Which I think is kind of funny. But they would... Okay, they... Huh. So he gets a lot of stress if we do that. Because he's ambitious. But if we enforce our demands and he just pays us money, he doesn't get the stress. Honestly, I think I want to stress this dude out. I think that's, that's way more funny. Then getting a little bit of money out of them. <laughs> Let's do that. Maybe we can kill him with stress. Yeah, so be it. What do you think would happen, huh? Silly, silly fool. Uh, let's grant you a vassal, this dude here. I don't need him. Oh, we're slowly encroaching in this direction anyway. So we have allies in the north and in the south. We are well positioned here at the moment. Uh, let's have this board game and we'll go for a learning challenge the entire way through. I'm not switching my methods at all. Uh... Let's see, maybe we can make him be happy about it, sort of. Nope, he lost 30 opinion of us. How can I help that? Let's see. Twin sons. He appears to be a natural socializer and is intim intimating that our shared talents in this area can naturally bring us together. And right he is. 54 stress gonzo. Just poofed away. Oh, look at that. And 640 gold into the coffers. The royal, royal coffers where it absolutely belongs. Speaking of which... Oh. Oh. 
Oh, would you look at that? Galicia Bologna just completely broke apart. What the hell happened here? Hello? 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 <laughs> Hello? He will even take high. Okay, you, you're not taking nothing. All right. I'll come for you other ways then. Okay. I mean, that's one way to get it back. You know. I'm not saying no to this. Succession is... A terrible, terrible plight upon the land. Look at what it does. To good, God-fearing peoples. Come back to the Empire, I say. Back into the bosom from whence you sprang. I think I got almost everyone. Let's have these roll in real quick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They want to be our vassal as well. No problem. Now here were some fools who didn't want to be. Now you're fine. Did I not have someone here? Maybe I misclicked on someone. But I felt like one of these wasn't willing. But they're all very happy to join. Okay. I'll, ta I'll take it. If you can't keep your realm together through one little succession or whatever the heck just happened over there that ain't my fault not by a long shot <laughs> look at them all rolling back in oh okay now let's uh let's get some de jour issues going here let's figure this stuff out because these guys are definitely not my vassals Grand Vassal, this guy goes to you 100%. Where do you belong? Truly, really. To this duchy. Which we could usurp. Honestly, we have the gold right now, so let's do that. Let's usurp this. And give it to someone here. They are content. These, th This guy would be great. And he has some children going on as well. Uh, who's also content. So this guy here is absolute duke material, if I've ever seen it. So the Duchy of Nitra goes to him. I don't want that. And... You belong de jour to Great Moravia, which is outside the realm. Fine. Where do you guys belong? To this. So... I... My boy? Why can't I grant you vassals? Huh? Why can't I grant you vassals? That's weird. Huh. Okay. Let's keep checking. Who needs to go where? Okay, you guys are mine. That is fine, fine, fine. You guys are not mine, I don't think. Where do you belong? There. Another title to be usurped, thanks. And to be granted to someone good. You are ambitious. Nope, forget about it. You are pretty decent. Pretty good diplomat. And you have a child, so that's good. Uh, who are you? Why do I have an alliance with you? <laughs> okay, no, you're allied to yourself. 
Ah, no, these guys are allied to... Okay, let's give this guy a title. He gets the Duchy of Opolania. How about that? And what's up with these guys here? What are you up to? Where do you belong? Duchy of this thing, which is mine anyway. So you guys are mine. All of you guys are mine. Was there a single lad up here? No. We only have this guy, which I think is part of my dushi. Honestly, why am I making why am I making it so hard for myself? I can just do this. So this duchy, you have it. But for some reason, I can't give you. That's weird. It's really, really weird. is exceedingly odd. Can I go through this? Is this like... You can grant blah 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 blah. Could usurp the kingdom of Great Moravia? Let's do that. Let's bring it into the fold, finally. 500 gold. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, if she rules elsewhere, you can't. I can tell you that much. There's so many kingdoms we can make. <laughs> but only one we can usurp, so... We'll do that. And we'll grant the title to this dude. He can be the king of Moravia. And this guy will offer vassalage and he'll he's, he's not interested in it. Can't declare war either. But, well, now he's only a little duke. And everyone knows where it really belongs. So that's fine. Uh... Yeah, you can go home, boy. Go back. Go back to your father. Enjoy. Alright, that was a lot of gold we spent just now. For a lot of stuff. Let's check our own succession real quick. So we're only losing the county of Pinsk. <laughs> because we got partition. So that's much better already. And we still can't change to equal because we don't have the crown authority three, which we can't yet do because we don't have uh, the right fascination for that yet. And we can't, can, can we decide the fascination? Because why the heck are we doing this? Naval speed plus 25%. I mean, I was complaining about being slow, but why? Uh, current exposure. The Jour Duchy Casas Belly. Oh, we are in charge again. So this is cool. Uh, if you get exposure and added to your cultural fascination, then it speeds up crazy. Crazy mounts. Like, this is going to be finished in four years anyway, but I do need it. Uh, this is much more interesting. So we can de jour do uh, Casas Belly for duchies now, which is what I've been complaining about, and I wasn't entirely sure how we can do it. But this is how you do it. You need chronicle writing. <laughs> Um, very good. Learned something at the very end of the stream myself. Yeah, and looking at the time, I should definitely go get to bed because I have another work day ahead of me tomorrow. Of course. But, you know, one more turn. <laughs> it never stops with these. More stress relief. Oh, what's going on here with the court artifacts? Yeah, showing the boy with the money. Why do we have so many court artifacts all of a sudden? What's this? Where are all these coming from? 
Oh, what what the heck is that? Why do we have these all of a sudden? Branch of the Tree of Life. If we fulfill the requirements, what are the requirements? It doesn't say. What requirements? <laughs> you are of a faith. Listen here, buddy. I am of a faith. <laughs> what are you saying? Okay, we got the crown of thorns, you know? Just Jesus' headgear. We, we just got that. We just have that. Look at this. Temple buildings construction cost minus 10%. Hello. Temple holding construction cost minus 10%. That's completely and utterly insane. And we're displaying this stuff here. Excuse me? Like, that's what we have here. The arm of St. George. I mean, we have this goblet, which is pretty cool, I suppose, but... <laughs> Feral wolf hide. And we, are we have a fox up somewhere here. We have nothing for the small wall ornament. Well, we could put this there. And then... Okay, no. These are both small. We don't have another small one. Shame. But these are all new. I don't know exactly where they came from. Yeah. Okay, but... Now. Now we're done. Now we're done. Done for the day. Thank you very much for uh, watching, for joining. Uh, leave a follow if you haven't already. Check out the YouTube over there as well. And... See you again... I think next time is uh, Saturday, latest Saturday, maybe Thursday, definitely not Friday, well, maybe, depending if my D&D sessions go through or not. Anyway, thank you so much, uh, we're gonna check our City Skylines probably next Tuesday, latest, uh, but I might be uploading some to YouTube anyway. I'll see you around. Have a nice day, evening, or whatever time it might be for you guys. See ya, and thanks for joining again. Really appreciate it.